In this video, I'm going to be setting it up so that enemies can take fire damage and they'll be able to burn to death as well as the player. So, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do in this video is actually make it that our enemies can die from fire. So, we go into a marksman, new animation, and we're going to call it burn. Then we go to our body sprite, drop the frame to 25. No, I know. It's not 25, uh, it's something like 33, right? I'll uh, go back down. Okay, so 31. Uh, then I'll just key all these in. Change it to 2. just want to hide both of these. Have a look at this. And then at 1.3, we're going to add a call method track and insert key Q3. Okay, and then we'll change this back to 1.3. Then we can make both of these visible. And we're going to add a timer called uh, fire tick time. And it's going to take 0 0.5 seconds. Actually, no, we'll make it 1 second. Or, yeah, for the enemies, it'll be 0 0.5 seconds. And we're going to connect the timeout. We're going to make a new variable. Uh, where should I put it? I think I'm just gonna put it right here. We'll go by uh, fire tips is equal to zero. Then at the end of this right here, uh, we're actually just gonna move this up to here. So then if money fire tick time dot is dot is equal to false then your know, money by tick time dot start actually this is wrong if uh, fire ticks is bigger than zero then fire ticks minus equals one uh, then money no uh, go to the end of this we're going to receive damage it's going to be one and the damage type is going to be burning so we're going to have fire damage which is going to be to pass in uh, the amount of ticks we want to do and then we're going to have burning damage which is the actual damage being carried out Okay, so then what we want to do now is and damage uh, type is not equal to fire. Then we go if damage type is equal to fire. Fire ticks is equal to damage amount. Uh, money fire tick time dot start. And if we do this here, so then if uh, money now if damage type is equal to burning. Pass for now, else go through all of these. Let's so create another timer, and this is fire death time, which is 1.3. And then here we'll do uh, money uh, with our mask stuff. 
here. So I'm copy and paste this stuff. And we'll do mask sprite dot visible is equal to false. Gun sprite dot visible is equal to false. Money fire death time dot start. And then if money fire tick time dot is start is equal to false. Then uh, money. Actually, no. Sorry. I'll just do money fire tick time dot stop. And yeah, is there anything else we need to do? I don't think so. So we'll add some effects to this in a second. But uh, for now, we're going to go into our flamethrower and go elf. Body dot is in group enemy then body dot receive damage uh we make it two and fire actually we'll make it three so then uh, we also got to make our hitbox detect enemies. Then now we are going to add a flamethrower to our scene. And then we'll also add in a locksmith and see what happens. Died, uh, we need to set them to dead. Uh, so state is equal to dead. And then in here we're going to go if money via death time that is stopped is equal to false. Animator dot play burn. Else and we'll just tap this forward and now let's see what happens okay so they do indeed die and we can't possess them if they die from fire so now what we also need to do is at the start of this we're going to check if our money Fire tick time. Now, if fire ticks is bigger than zero, then we'll pass for now. Uh, then we're going to make another timer that's a fire particle create delay. And then we'll do one shot and zero point one for now. Then we'll move this here and connect the timeout. Then we need to make fire particles. So we'll make other node sprite and make it fire particle. Add in an animation player and save it under our effects. So then in our effects folder, I'm going to drag in fire particle. Then in our attacks, we're going to drag in fire bomb and fire explosion. So we'll go into effects, we import that without a filter, go into attacks, we import both of these without a filter. Now we'll go back onto our fire particle and drag that in. And I believe it's seven frames, yep. 
So then go into our animation player. Default autoplay. And we'll key this in. And this, 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 this. And make the animation 0 0.7. Actually, we'll make it 0. Point. Let me get one second line. And then we'll add a call method track. Insert key Q3. And then we're going to add a. What do we even. Instead of adding a script, we'll just move it upwards with um, our transform. So we'll key in our position here. And then at here, let's say something like negative 20. Now it's probably high. Uh, negative 15. Let's key in. Let's see what this does. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. So we'll go back to our marksman and go up here. And after our dust, we'll add the fire particle constant. So preload fire particle dot dsem. And here we'll go var fire particle is equal to fireparticle.instance get parent dot add child fireparticle fireparticle global global position and is equal to self dot global position randomize fireparticle no uh fire and we'll do fire particle. I'll play the space here. Fire particle dot global position dot x is equal to Randy uh, percent six. So I'll return a value actually seven. So that'll return a value between zero and six. And then if we do minus three, it'll return a value between negative three and three. Let's actually change this to five and uh, yeah, then we'll go back up here and money fire dot create delay dot is stopped. Then money fire dot create delay dot start. And let's check this out. Not seeing any particles. Uh, let me try just printing high to see if this is being called. Let me do add it. Yeah, so we hit that, set it to our position. It should be completely visible. Oh, because then we set it equal to, it needs to be plus equals. Yeah. Uh, that's not good, what's happening to it. Uh, let me go back to this, drag this back here, and see if it works now. now I don't know why it's deleting instantly. Is it because it's spawning that the position is getting offset? I believe I'll have to use code for this. Yeah. Yeah, so then. Or. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that and go into our scenes, effects, uh, fire particle. We'll delete this. And then in here, we'll go into our offset. And key that in. 
then we can go negative 15y and key data. And that should work out. Yeah. So then they burn and uh, let's close this. Uh, close our bunch of stuff. Go back into our marksman, delete this high. So if I am the marksman works fine, I just gotta set it up in the clone and player. So it's just a repetitive process. Then we put this here. Go into our marksman, we need via tick time, particle, and def, so timer. Fire tick time is equal to 0 0.5. Actually, so we want to do first is just move him so that he's just in here. And then, yeah, I don't think I want, I think that's a good speed for particles to spawn at. So, uh, Go back into our clone and we'll add another timer. Fire particle create delay. Set it to one shot, 0 0.1 and fire death time. One shot, 1.3. Then we connect both of these timeouts. And we'll move this up uh, here. Then we'll go into this, grab our. No, oh, this is a fire particle. Uh, then, yeah, we can close the flame thrower. Grab the fire particle, we'll copy paste it into our clone and our player. Which reminds me, we'll also grab the five ticks and put it into the player. We want to put this. I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, let's make some timers. Fire tick time. Uh, since the player can only have like three max health, I'm gonna set it so it's every one second. I think that's fairly fair. Then. Add another timer, fire particle, create delay, set it to one shot, 0 0.1, another timer, fire death, time, one shot, 1.3, and then we connect both of these timeouts. Okay, then remove this. Uh, I don't know where yet. I'll put it at the front and with the struct delay we can move up here. Ash time we can move there. Actually no, we'll move it uh, to the very top. We'll move this up here. Uh, we can space these out and move this up here. Okay, so now we're going to our marksman and we'll copy paste this code into our clone and then into our player. Then we go back into our marksman, 
Oracle, we're going to our fire tick time. Grab this and put it into our clone and player. And then now we have to adjust our depths. So then we're going to receive damage to the clone. Do if our damage type is equal to burning, then we pass. We also need to do uh, in here we need to do and damage type is not equal to fire and we'll put an else and we'll move all of these forward copy paste this stuff we don't need this uh, we also need to remove from group no, that's an add to group. Uh, we do need to remove from group enemy though. Which uh, I forgot to do in the marksman. So we'll do that. And then your state is equal to dead. And what else? Stop any timers we need to. And that's it. So. We'll grab these and paste them in. And now we can go into our dead. And if fire death time dot is stopped, then that'll play. Else animation player dot play. Uh, we haven't made that yet. Let's put in a mark here. We'll sleep like that for now. So we go in here and we'll make a new animation. Turn into our body sprite up to 31. And then we'll key these in. Uh, change the duration to 1.3. And just click all of these. Why is it 1.4? No, I got two frames in a row. Uh, let me go back and check on this marksman actually. So when I animated burn starts at A1, then it goes into there. It's a little weird. Oh, I got two of the first frames in a row. Okay, so 1.3, add a call method track to the clone, insert key Q3, and then that's that animation done, so we'll do animation player, dot play, burn, and let's go into our marksman and grab this code. Copy and paste it into our clone and player. Uh, and then in our player, we just have to do uh, the dead LF money. Fire death time that is stopped is equal to false. Then we'll leave it blank for now. Uh, new animation. Burn. And we'll go to frame 31. Key it in. Go up a frame. Get in. I'm just going to change this to 1.3. And yeah, at the end of this, call method track, insert key, Q3, and then 
in here we can do animation player dot play done. And I just want to make sure if we're dead, I want gravity to be and money uh no control y blah, blah, blah. let's grab this and we'll put it here and we can also grab in this stuff and put it here i think that's all we need let's put this here And I'm gonna do motion uh, motion dot x is equal to zero. And now let's just test out one ribbon. And just uh, I don't think in the player we set up our receive damage yet, right? Yeah, so then, uh, we'll tab this forward and go if damage type is not equal to fire, else, what do we want to do? Let's check our marksman. Oh, that's if health is equal to zero. Uh, let's go back into our marks and we need this right here. I don't know if we have that in our clone. Let me check that quickly. No, so we'll add that in and go to our player. Add it in. And then health. No wait. Elf. Yeah, elf health is smaller than or equal to zero. And let me just. Yeah. So health health is smaller than or equal to zero. The money fire. Def, let me put a colon here. Uh, fire death time dot start. Money fire tick time dot stop. Okay, now we can test this out. Oops, test this. Yeah, so we get set on fire. Uh, it doesn't seem to be damaging us at all. Now we got the uh, the damage one set up. See damage one burning. Oh yeah, we don't go dead. It is equal to true. So hopefully it works now. It's not supposed to kill us immediately though, but it does, and it makes us float. Uh, the gravity isn't working properly. I'm gonna go motion dot y is equal to zero. First of all, in here, then I'm gonna check what's going on at the end of here. Uh, We never apply gravity. So where do we apply gravity? Nope. Uh, yeah, we just get a simple one line. So we put that there, and uh, yeah. So we died immediately. 
otherwise everything else is working will do and damage type is equal to burning and I believe this should work Yeah, okay. Now let's just add in our clone and test them out. That went well. Okay, so we got set on fire. Hasn't died yet. I need to test this stuff. Not good. Oh my god. Okay, let me delete the marksman. Okay. Uh, not exactly what I want. Okay, so we're gonna go into our clone. And then today I receive damage. How does this work? Uh, this only allows them to get damage if the damage type is equal to fire. So I'm going to not equal to fire. And then I believe that should be it. They basically died immediately. Um, let me go into their animate. It seems to be working, but um, is stopped is equal to. Do we start the fire death time? No. So money fire death time dot start, and we'll launch this. Okay, hopefully, yes, okay. So, they also die from fire damage now. So yeah, we've got um, some working fire damage now, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, next video, I've decided on adding in items that you can carry, uh, similar to Spelunky with torches and rocks, or Katana Zero, how you can pick up vases and then throw them. I'm going to show something kind of like that in the next video. So if you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.